Hey guys, it's Kimberly, and um, we are hopefully not going to have any internet trouble tonight. I'm going to wait and see if we have anybody on with us. It is thir It is Tuesday. Huh? I jumped a day or two, didn't I? I said Thursday. It's Tuesday night. 8 o'clock is normally when we come live. And so I am going to wait a quick moment to see if we have anybody jump on with us. Um, give everybody a minute to jump on. And I've got some products here that um, you guys have seen me. This piece has been sitting here been curing while I've been working on other pieces. So um, tonight I'm going to try to jump in a couple of things that came in that I was waiting on to come in, have come in. And so uh, I'm going to get started working on this dresser. And um, this is painted in the manatee gray. Now, and, um, and then the long dresser here is also painted in the manatee gray. Prior to, which we kind of went over on our um, last video. Um, you guys can catch these jump over on our Facebook page. It's Unique Finds and Designs Furniture and Decor. On our Facebook page over there, um, we're, we're broadcasting these um, also you can go back and see the replays and see where we are at with these different projects so that that'll give you guys an idea if you're new to our page my name is kimberly i'm a dixie bell uh, premier retail furniture artist here in kernersville north carolina and we are always working on projects last time we were here we were working on our our vintage luggage trunk and um, it's still in process. It's on the other side here waiting. Um, as you guys know, I always try to say we have cure times, dry times, and that sort of thing. And sometimes I'm waiting for different things to come in. And um, so on this particular piece, it's been curing. I've been waiting for a couple of pieces to come in. I apologize if you hear our um, little Peter running in the background. It's pretty chilly here in North Carolina. Um, several of our followers got snow today. Uh, Miss Amber, she got some snow today up there, I believe, and she got to play her probably last night. It blew in, and she's she's got some snow pictures out. Um, if you're here with me, let me know you're here so I can say hello and welcome you. Um, like I say, if you're new to our page, thank you for joining us tonight. Um, we are getting back on track with these two pieces of furniture that have been sitting here and curing up. They've been um, sort of waiting for the next phase. And so on this piece, the next phase that we're going to do tonight, I'm actually going to be adding some stripes to the sides of this. And I was kind of waiting on my transfer to come in because I am using a transfer on this piece. Um, I'm also a, premier, a retailer for... Um, redesigned by Prima transfers as well. So you can find those at all of our locations. We do carry um, the transfers at the different locations, so you can find them there. We just got a new shipment in today. And um, we have some different ones that we haven't seen out there or even had on our shelves um, for a while. So um, several of them are sometimes hard to get your hands on. So uh, I try to get several of them at one time so it kind of makes it easier um, if you guys are so you guys don't run out and you always have other op you have options when it comes to your transfers and um, so tonight what I'm gonna do is um, we're gonna come in here and I'm actually gonna add stripes to this I'm actually gonna add stripes to this one as well and because uh, I've kind of had an idea in my head all along as I was kind of preparing for tonight and um, I'm just kind of looking at my piece here it's been kind of setting um, this is one coat coverage that you're seeing on here if you're gonna blend um, a lot of times you'll see that one coat coverage is enough for your um, for your pieces depending on what you're going over this was a pretty dark red mahogany style um, piece so this is a red mahogany red mahogany bleeds um, 
Also, your cherry wood will bleed. So I did clean these really well, which I have gone over prior in some of our other um, broadcasts and have told, showed you guys the process. I did clean it with white lightning cleaner. I did come in after the cleaner. I did use the clear coat boss on this so that um, it wouldn't bleed back through my paint. Really, when you have an issue with um, bleed through, that is normally between your top coat and what's underneath your piece. So a lot of times it's a, it's a reaction between your top coat and the stain that these old antique pieces were stained with and that's what causes it to bleed back through. It really has nothing to do with your paint, it's what you put on top of your paint after that causes it to pull that bleed through back out. So that's just a little tidbit of information. I don't know if you guys knew that or not, but that does sometimes um, have an effect on your piece. So I did boss this. I did use the clear boss. Um, in certain circumstances, if you are distressing a piece, you probably, if you're using the, the white boss, you might would see it. In some cases, that's perfectly fine. If you want to have that weathered look where it looks like there's another color underneath, then the, the, um, the uh, color white boss is perfectly fine for that. But in this case, in a lot of cases, if you just don't want to have to um, add multiple layers to cover that coat to that sometimes will save you some time so the clear coat in this case is what's underneath here and then I just put on the manatee gray but tonight what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here I'm gonna measure this off I'm gonna eyeball it because I don't normally measure off with a tape measure most of the time so um, I do have my painter's tape. Some people use frog tape. This is, um, this is just clean, it's called clean release. It's the blue painter's tape. And I wanna say, this is an inch and a half wide. I'm pretty sure. So, um, hey Cheryl, how are you? Um, so what I'm gonna do tonight is I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to but this is this paint has been curing and a lot of times it is good for your paint to cure because it'll keep your paint from pulling back off as well so it gives you a little cure time um, sometimes I've had people say they have an issue with their with their paint coming back off so you can do a number of things when you have this amount of space you can come off the edge and put your stripes in or you can kind of come to the center and um, I'm, Sometimes I go to the center and then kind of work my way out and that will help me sort of, and of course I'm eyeballing a center here. I'm not actually measuring it, but a lot of people do. Um, I don't know, I just kind of do better um, with my eye than I do with um, a tape measure sometimes it just makes it more difficult so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add because my transfer came in and I probably should show you that and the, I've been kind of waiting for it to get here sometimes you just got to go with it just kind of see if um, and then you can work your maybe put two out here and then it could it kind of give you an idea whether you want to use there's two options you could use you can use your thinner tape and um, and then go from the side and bring out your thin the thinner one so it's really um, a preference of yours I do this sometimes on some of my furniture and I will come in and just kind of put in um, a section just to see if I want to do and I may want to run it this with this instead of my and it kind of releases really easy instead of my thick tape it's really a preference so just kind of put it on there and play with it give yourself um, a moment to figure that out what I am coloring it with though and going to put on it tonight is um, the tea rose this is a well-loved tea rose as you can see it's got some crusting along the edges because I've used it I don't need a lot I'm just going to come in here and add some stripes and I don't mind if they're a little faded um, because what I am going to be putting on this piece 
is um, one of uh, Redesign with Prima's new um, releases, uh, Transfer, is the, I don't know if you guys have seen this before, but this is Hello Baby. So yes, I'm actually creating this for a nursery. So, um, and this will show you, it has the different um, individual critters. So it's super, super sweet. And the reason I was waiting for it to come in is I really wanted to match my color to my transfer. And that's why I didn't already pre-paint my sides waiting on my transfer to come in. I really wanted to see it in hand to make sure that the color was true before I put it on my piece. So obviously I'm using gray and I'm going to use the tea rose, which is a super soft pink, kind of almost an antique pink. And um, I believe it'll work wonderful with this particular transfer. And these transfers, I'm just gonna kind of pull it out. These transfers come with an applicator stick. That's how you rub them on for your life. We probably won't get to putting this transfer on tonight. Maybe Thursday night we'll be going over. And so you can see some of the transfer and how, how, how stinking cute is this going to be. And if you look at the transfer, it does have the gray as well. Um, let me see if I can pull this out a little bit more. Let that piece. So you can see it has this super cute little critter that's going to work um, wonderful with the gray that I've got on this piece. So um, that's kind of where I'm going. You can see that the bear, you're going to have to line this up and this little critter here. So um, it just kind of gives you an idea of the different little critters that are on it. And uh, so this is what I have sort of been waiting on. And uh, look, looky, looky, look at the little panda bear. How cute. So, um, and then there's several floral for accenting. So, if you guys know me, I cut these out. Um, this is going to be for a little nursery, obviously. I've got um, a particular idea in my head for a nursery. This is actually the, um, the baby changer, but it is a dresser and it has two very deep drawers, which I envisioned um, parents, new parents maybe, hey Terry, how are you? using at the bottom for all the you know fluffy blankets that you get when you're um, setting up your nursery so I've got a new mom in mind um, that's why I am uh, kind of creating this <clears throat> particular piece I am creating it for a new mom um, and um, hopefully um, this will work as a beautiful uh, changing table as well as accessories as multiple drawers it'll be wonderful and then I've got the tall drawer here that I'm also going to be using Terry I'm working on this piece finally uh, my transfer has come in I want to hang this here and it is a uh, Prima Design transfer and it's one of our newest ones I do um, I am a retailer for uh, Prima Design transfer now so um, <clears throat> They're decor transfers, and this one says, Hello, Baby, and it has all these awesome, I hope you guys can see, super cute critters. So, um, that's why I was waiting before I started to put my stripes on this piece, and I'm going to put my stripes on, and I will obviously show you guys this, and I'm going to overlap on my stripe, over my stripes with some of my transfer, which will give it a super cute um nursery feel and, and vibe and that's and that's what i'm going for um does several i've done several um bedroom sets for young children and uh, little girls bedroom set boys bedroom set but this one is actually going to be nursery so i just ha popped into my head i'm like you know i really love 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 all the drawers and um to tuck all the little you know onesies and blankets and all the fun stuff um for a new mom and this would be a um, a lot of the um newer style nurseries are using vintage furniture which is really awesome it's recycling and um at its best as far as i'm concerned so um that's what you're seeing me do tonight this is what i'm going to be working on 
this particular um, dresser, like I said, it is a, it's got two deep drawers at the bottom and six smaller drawers um, at the top. Uh, and um, so there'll be plenty of storage in these. Um, this is a solid mahogany piece. Everything is dovetailed obviously on it and I'm gonna really cutify it. So that's my goal um, for this piece. That's why I've been waiting so long. I am adding my stripes tonight and the stripes I'm gonna be using is the T-Rose. So I think it'll be a nice, soft, subtle pink to work with this gray. It works perfect with my transfer. And I was hoping that the Manatee would be great for that. Another color is, um, what other color? The Mason Dixon gray would work nice too because the Mason Dixon Gray has a hint of a hint of pink to it as well <clears throat> in the light. So you're going to see me eyeball this. <coughs> Excuse me. Again with the heater. Got to have the heater. It's so cool out. And um, so I'm just going to kind of eyeball uh, my stripes. Sometimes I put them on here and I pull them back off. I've got my oval medium brush sitting and waiting. Finally, I can get to this piece. The transfers finally come in. I do have, um, however, don't know. It may take a couple transfers for this piece because this is a large piece, so I might use one transfer on this and maybe some on that. Hey, Miss Beth, how are you? Hope you are well. I am working on a nursery um, set that I am working on. Beth, if you just joined us, that's what I'm doing with this. I'm going to be adding some adding some soft subtle stripes to the side of my piece and I'm eyeballing the how deep I want them because once I put my stripes on I'm gonna let them dry of course and then I'm gonna overlap my stripes with some of my transfer and um, I am creating this for a little girl's nursery for um, a, a new mom and I will show you some of the cutesy, cutesy things that are going to be on both of these sets. So um, this is actually going to be the um, diaper changer as well as, um, you know, where I will stage it. You guys will see what I'm talking about. I've had a vision in my head for whatever reason to do this. So some of these little critters will be overlapping some of this on the side, some of them on the front. You guys know me, you never know. I will I will play with it and tweak them out to where they're gonna be. Oh, thank you. I hope it'll be adorable. I've got, been thinking of a uh, new mom and how cute that would be. And especially uh, a new mom and it's her first youngin and it'd be a little girl. And um, that's just kind of my vision on this particular set. That's why it's been sitting here for so long. But at the same time, when you're putting stripes on, like I'm doing with this piece, when you go to put your stripes on, you um, kind of want your paint good and cure so that, you know, if you do like that and you pull it off, you're not pulling your paint off. So one thing I need to make sure is that I'm not putting my stripes on, making sure they're not going sideways since I'm talking here. Let me just make sure. So if your paint is good and cure, you shouldn't have an issue with um, it pulling back off. And as you guys know, this has been sitting behind me while I've been working on everything else. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna redo this because I was talking. So I'm gonna pull these two off. I'll set you over here just a quick moment. So just kind of size up your piece. And in this case, I'm gonna pull it off. I'm going to find my center, maybe if I can get my tape to come back off with me. <clears throat> and I'm just going to kind of work it this way. That way I can come out from the sides, which is what I'm really, make sure I get it more level, if you will. Almost like my piece ain't long enough. So I am using the T-Rose. I will be using the Prima Design Transfer. And I'm hoping it will turn out stinking cute. That's my goal. Okay, that'll be too wide. So I wanna just kinda measuring in here. 
That'll kind of help you. I think that's going to be better for me. I am, um, they say if you're an artist that you can't do a straight line. I don't think I'm an artist, but I have the hardest time. Sometimes, I mean for regular art, but not like for fine art, drawing art. I cannot get a straight line to save my soul. I guess that's what they claim we have trouble with, and they are right. I do have a problem with it. So when I tape it off, I will be painting these lines in. Kind of like I did that blue dresser, you got or dresser vanity. You guys may have seen that. It was up at Cooper's. We did I staged it with my um chair that was take a seat for charity. So it's kind of gonna be the same along the same lines. Uh did I use T Rose? I think I may have on that piece. I think I did. I think I used T rose. So sometimes this is kind of a time consuming. Let's see, two on the inside. One. Let's see, this was my middle. One, two, three. Middle. One, two, three. We'll see. For some reason this side's looking fatter. So this is always the ugh, fun, not as much fun as the painting, but it's all part of the process. So maybe my middle line may be off. So this is uh, just a time consuming. When you're putting your lines on, you're like, okay, which one's where? Mm -hmm. so, just gonna move them over until I think I like it because I don't want it I don't want it too many and I don't want it too on some of my dressers I've done like lines over here and lines coming down and then I had two things on each side I um trying to decide if maybe I like that idea versus and you can when you put these on you can paint up and then fade out if you want so you can always kind of do it that way too so um, it's never wrong or right I mean it's just no rhyme or reason it's just really a preference and that's when I'm like oh, okay so if your eye my eye is off it makes a difference on your piece. So just kind of play with it, work them around so that you get them the same, about the same width and depth, thickness on each one. That's what I'm trying to do with mine. It's the great thing is, is it's just tape so you can pull it on and put it off. So pull it on, pull it off and um, re reset your your product that's not that's what I use the blue tape because it makes it a little bit easier for me to do that very thing and don't be afraid to reset them a few times and I'm not gonna hurt anything but it might be better in, in your eye and the overall image once you get it on and off on the way you want it then jump in there and paint it but um it's kind of coming in there these look relatively just kind of moving them around I saw where Miss Amber had a lot of snow, Beth. Um, looked like a lot of snow. I don't know why in the world. I thought we were going to get something, but it didn't really look like a whole lot of nothing to us today here. But up there, 
I think they got some snow. Thank you, Terry. I think this will be super cute um, when I get it to where I want it. Now, the unfortunate thing is you got to do the same thing to the other side. But I won't bore you all with that tonight. I'll go over there and um, do the same thing. And what I do is I just count how many lines I have on this side. And I go over there and I incorporate the same amount. The one good thing is when you're painting um, lines on your piece like this, you're never looking at the same side um, at the same time, so or opposite sides at the same time, if that makes sense. So they may be slightly off, but you're not gonna notice it on the other side. Mostly I'm just trying to make sure that I got my piece straight. I'm not pushing it down too hard. Sometimes you have to vary this line, you know, vary it out a little bit more on um, different sides, so. That's something when you're doing your stripes. <coughs> but I think it'll be cute. Um, and also when I'm doing the stripes here, I'm also going to do a couple on the front of this piece as well. And um, so when I do the stripe around the hardware, I will do the stripe up to it and then that way. So that kind of, you know, play off the um, around the hardware. I'm also going to do a stripe on... I have been trying to decide whether I was going to do the middle here and um, and maybe one here because this particular one has the line on it and um, I'm not sure that one might that drawer particular drawer right there might should be um, at the bottom because on here that particular drawer is on the bottom so sometimes when you're putting them together they might get get backwards a little bit you know your drawers because you pulled them out i always pull everything out and vacuum inside all of my pieces and all that fun stuff three inches yes it looked like it i saw um <laughs> a good time to paint yeah if it's warm <laughs> otherwise she'll be freezing i saw her cookies today too oh my heavens that girl is so talented she is so talented she must take after her mama she is super talented. I love it. She made some of the cutest um, cookies Miss Amber did, which is Miss Beth's daughter. So, is it the first time the little girl has played in the snow? Or I would think she's maybe had an opportunity to play in the snow before. She's pretty young. Your little granddaughter. So, I got me some tea rows here. My tea rose has uh, been around the block a little bit, but um, oh, you're welcome. But they are, um, it's good. Um, it gets a little thick, so tonight um, I did have it. Obviously, I've used out of it. Um, and like I said, when I took the top off, it was thick. This is chalk paint, so chalk paint and water are friends. Don't forget, if your, your paint gets a little bit thick, don't hesitate to add a little water and give it a good stir. There's nothing at all wrong with your paint. Um, sometimes it'll do that with our temperature changes and everything. So, um, and uh, just, you know, I do workshops and everything and use these um, paints in and out of those workshops. So they will tend, when the air gets to them, they will tend to get a little uh, thick on you. And um, so that's a way to alleviate that problem. Yeah, I thought she probably had snow before because she's not, she's um, a little, she's a little cutie, but she's a little older. So I figured they probably have experienced it. She don't want a rooster by chance, does she? <laughs> Carly's got a buff Orpington rooster. And, um... Of all things, we did catch the culprit that was taking out our chickens, uh, which I was talking to Amber about when she was on here one night with me. It ended up being a cat, go figure, a feral cat. We caught a live trap, caught it, and um, it now does not live here on the farm. It lives on someone else's farm, <laughs> but um, where it does not take out chickens. So, uh, but. Carly had been, she raises her chickens obviously every, every year, but anyway, this year we had three buff babies and turned out she lost two of them and the only one that survived, wouldn't you know it, a rooster. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, he is, 
uh, what, what's it say? No, but I have a friend that might want the buff. Okay, well, he uh, he's out there, and he's beautiful. I'm trying to think. Did I take a picture of him on my phone? I think I did. I can shoot him to you. He's a gorgeous buff Orpington, but... You know how it is when you have a rooster in the hen house, you know, he's he's been great, he's been very docile today. Carly picked him up, he was fine. He's getting protective of the hen house. He doesn't want you in there. So when you come in, he comes at you. And I'm like, hmm, into this story, you know. I don't normally, unless we have a Bantam rooster, which we've kept a Bantam rooster for years in our hen house until this cat got in there and apparently got it. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. Carly would love to trade him, but um, I mean, if we can't trade him, we understand that too, but she'd love to trade him from some girls or girl or whatever, but he's, he's gonna pull a prize if he went to fair. He's gorgeous. There's no doubt about it. She's, every time she puts a rooster in a fair, they bring they bring ribbons, but, you know, it's a long time till the fair, and you know how that is. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'll let Carly know that you'll let her know. So, I'm going to get get going on with my tea rose, and, you know, I'm going to wing it. I'm going to just jump in and start going at it. I know my paint's been sitting, and I'm just going to come in here, and I am using my oval medium brush. It is a little wide and my stripes are a little fine, so just bear that in mind. One thing I didn't do is I didn't tape up at the top. A lot of times I'll tape it off. I didn't get up there to do that. And um, this paint has been, like I said, been sitting and I do see um, some flakes in it but I can brush them out thankfully. I'm just going to come up in here and use my brush. The end of my brush is still good and straight. If you have any trash in it just flick it out which I knew it would a little bit. I think this will be really really pretty pretty when um, when it's all uh, together as one piece. So remember you can come in here and soften down um, your paint if you um, want to even have it a little softer tones you can soften it down by um, coming in and lightly sanding if you need to um, this tea rose is a gorgeous color I use it a lot I love the tea rose up against the sea glass they make a nice combination which I did like I said on the vanity so I'm just gonna come in here and add me some stripes Really, it the longest part it takes is doing this here, and since I'm just eyeballing it, obviously it takes me a little bit longer um, because I'm not, <laughs> I don't have that perfect straight line. The dog is barking. Something has literally been trying to get in the dog lot. I don't understand that at all, unless it's a coyote or another dog trying to get in with our female. So I'm like, uh. If it ain't one thing, it's another. When you live out, something's always trying to find its way in, it seems like. So this dresser, like I said, has been in waiting for this gorgeous little sweet transfer, and I just cannot wait. Um, I'm also doing this whole set. We'll also have a, um, a baby, um, what will say, crib. I've been looking for a crib to add to my set. So, um, but I've been looking for one that has a back, um, a solid, I guess I want to say, a solid headboard um, with the other, uh, with the spindles. Which, spindles are no fun to paint, but it will just kind of complete the entire set. So my goal is to have it as a complete set before it is up for grabs. This will be up for grabs, obviously, because I like to do, throw some things out there that's a little bit different than what I've been working on, and this definitely is. Just kind of come to me 
when I was working on it. I've been doing a lot of different um, furniture pieces for uh, bedroom sets and what have you, vanities and all. But I just thought this, for whatever reason, this would just be such a sweet little girl's for a little girl's nursery. So that is what I'm working on. Is something new. I've been waiting on the Prima transfer. And so you got there. You have it. You see, I've just kind of come in and softly put in the stripes and. Um, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to do a couple of the drawers. Um, I don't want to overpower my piece, obviously. I just kind of want to get it on. And um, then I'm going to come around here to the front of this piece. And I'm going to show you. Maybe I can get to that. I don't want it to fall off because this is a heavy, heavy. So let me tuck you down a little bit. Hopefully my phone won't jump. So across the front of this, and of course I'm going to have to be on my hands and knees, even sit on the floor to do this. So I'm going to get over here. Um, I might be able to drag her, maybe, a little more forward. Of course, I don't want to scratch my piece on the other side. So I am going to come along in here and add my little stripes along here. So I'm taking it slow. I'm adding it to a few other areas. And then I'm going to work in where I am going to put the, all my drawers. I am running a heater in here because of the temperatures outside. So, um, so I was envisioning doing um, the bottom here in stripe. I probably will do a drawer or maybe the set of drawer. I'm not sure. I'll play with that as I go along because I don't want to overpower my piece. That is always super important to me that I don't overpower it. Just enough versus too much. <clears throat> Plus, I'm going to have the transfer on it. So, you know, I am going to be adding a transfer. So, here I might would be adding my... Um, adding my stripes I'm kind of thinking about how I'm going to do that this one might be a little wider in the front since we're going all the way across I'll come in here find my middle and I think I might use the wider tape on this just to give it a little different dimension and kind of work my way over most of the time I'll start here go to an edge, start off at that edge, and work my way down. So it's okay to, you know, um, work it around as you go. Um, so I'm going to start it here, then kind of coming in here since this is the middle of these drawers, and maybe find a middle here, and then kind of work on out from there so just kind of play with it as you're doing your stripes I don't want them too small I don't want them to I just kind of want to add as I go along so this is just kind of a little project you guys um, if you're looking to uh, add your add some you know dimension to your piece you can just kind of come in here and I'm just kind of playing at planning out my stripes, how I want my stripes to look on my piece. So just kind of come in there and working in. So I'm going to work from this end over to here and then work out that way. So we want a little pink and gray on the front along with a little pink and gray on the sides so that it all plays into the uh, Prima Design Transfer, which you can see is going to be super sweet on this piece so um so if you have a few areas obviously this is a vintage piece if there's a few areas that might have a couple of little um you know insignificant bumps or something on it you can um choose those areas to have your transfer over so just kind of work with whatever piece you're working with and that's kind of how I'm working mine tonight. I don't try to take every imperfection out of a vintage piece. 
If it has a structural issue, obviously I want to fix that. I don't want any of my pieces to have structural problems. But um, character is something that um, you don't have to add to these pieces because they already have their character. And um, so I'm just kind of thinking where this is. I might pull that to work with that. I like that it might be too wide so just kind of play with your piece same thing uh, this is the what takes the longest is doing your getting your taping on obviously to where you want to put your stripes but it also makes the character of the piece when you're um, when you fin get the finished product <clears throat> so Again, with the tape and the masking. So if you have any questions for me, if you guys are new here, um, and this is your first time with us, thank you for joining us. Um, tonight, my name is Kimberly, and I am working on a nursery set. So you see, I'm gonna go down to my shorter tape because I'm gonna have to add a piece to it to get the same length because this piece is too too wide and I want it to be about the same width so I'm gonna narrow down a piece go down the smaller piece so that they are the same so if that makes any sense and then I'm gonna just work my way back out from here find my my groove from there and I'm gonna work all the way across this piece that's how um, I get my pieces ready. And let me kick my shoe back on here. I'm going to stand up and go move the piece from behind me so that I can pull this forward without scratching this piece in the back, which I don't want to do. And I have been cleaning and moving things around like crazy at my house. So, that's all I can do to move my piece. So let me see if I can't jockey these two bad boys around so that we can get the view over here. Sorry. But sometimes when you work in a limited area, you gotta kinda just try to tweak everybody around. Hopefully you guys can see still um, where we are. And maybe if I can, Jockey some things around. Hopefully we don't lose power or light out here because when I'm running a heater, sometimes it'll blow the breaker. So um, you see the mirror beside here and you see how red this furniture is? That's what this was. So that's the headboard and the mirror to the set. I think you guys can kind of see that. I am sitting on the, sitting on the ground, so let me move out of the way. So this mirror also goes to this, so I will work that mirror into this piece, but the headboard also went to this set with the very tall spindles, but I'm not keeping it for the set because I want it to have a, uh, a, I want it to be in a nursery. So obviously I wouldn't need that headboard and footboard, but I do have that entire set. So I have another idea for that. So, <clears throat> and that is to come. So I'm not going to uh, <clears throat> mess with it right now, but I am going to be using it for another application but for now the mirror will be part of the set and so I'm just going to continue on bringing in my stripes because I'm going to stripe along the bottom of this piece I am working with uh, the wide tape as well as the regular tape so this takes a little bit of time time consuming so it's a little bit boring on video probably because I'm having to sit here and add each and every one of these lines but this is exactly how I do what I do to get get the lines I want hi miss hey if you're new here Deanna hey how are you hope you're doing well welcome 
So tonight this is a nursery uh, set that I am working on for a nursery. This is actually going to be the, di the diaper changer. So the diaper changer would be up here with sweet lamps on the sides and, um, and this for all your little onesies and your bibs and all the fun stuff you have with the little one. So that's what I am working on. And it is going to have the redesign by Prima. So if you're new, new and you just joined us, um, Oh Baby transfer on it. So we will be working with that. And the color we are putting on this piece on the bottom is uh, Dixie Belle's Tea Rose. So that's what we're adding so that we can add that sweet transfer to this piece. So I'm just adding some um, color in because I will overlay my transfer over my stripes. So that's what we're doing tonight, and it is taking a little bit of time. Obviously, this doesn't look like a whole lot of fun here, but when you are putting on your multiple layers or multiple colors, and in this case, stripes, takes a little bit of time because I gotta come in here and add each piece and so I'm um, eyeballing it off. It's, um, uh, it's not measuring it out in any particular way. I'm just sort of eyeballing my individual stripes along the way. Just kind of my way they are. Now you could do this also with a, the uh, rosé um, metallic if you like. And I might come over the top and add some rosé on here. Um, I'm not sure. I'll sort of play that by ear as I go along. Let me pull this. So I'm going to pull this because I think some of my stripes uh, here are a little bit wider. So let me just pull that because this one looks good. Kind of trying to measure it off. Um, obviously just eyeballing it, but I want it to be very similar. And to me it looked like it was a little bit off on the width. So I'm just coming in here with this wider tape and just kind of putting me some stripes down. You need to be a little bit further. So this is a little bit time consuming while you're putting on your stripes. But this is exactly how I put mine on, one by one. So, get my tape. This is why it's good to let your paint cure a spell before you put your tape on it and pull it off. So I always try to let my paint sit a moment. So this has been curing a few days, this uh, Manatee Gray. That's the color that's on this piece, by the way, is Manatee Gray. If you're just joining us, this Dixie Bell Paint Products. And I am just coming in here and adding me some lines so that I can get my stripes. I may hear my husband's truck. So don't be afraid. If you feel like they're not exactly right, just pull them off, put them back on. If you do pull paint, it really isn't too big a deal because you can always come in and touch up your paint. So um, it wouldn't be uh, too big a deal. Hopefully it won't. If it does, it's not a big deal. You can just come in there and touch up your your paint with your color. I thought I saw the spot here. Add that. So now um, I will just come in and I'm um, using my oval medium brush. You guys can use whatever brush I want to just kind of give it a look. See, before I put my stripes on, some of them look a little thicker and thinner. It just really depends um, what view, what angle. Let me angle this back at myself kind of put it so that you can see at the bottom all the way across. Hey Kathy, how are you girl? Out here working again in the workshop as usual. 
been working all week on my house trying to get it organized and clean so I'm just coming in here and moving my this is the great thing about tape you can just pull it back off set it back down kind of move them around tweak them however you want if you feel like it's too wide, too thin, too narrow. Honestly, once you get it painted, you probably won't notice as much as I do. I mean, it bothers my eye, but. So I've already done the stripes on the sides. Let me come in here and come along and make sure your edges are down. Um, Kathy, you've seen me do this on quite a few pieces of furniture. Um, this is going to actually be a nursery set that I am working on. So I am doing this with the nursery. And Kathy, if you just came on, I'm glad. I'm glad you're doing well. I'm doing this in the O oh Baby. This is a new transfer and I couldn't wait to get it in. So um, got it in finally and this is for a nursery. Obviously I was thinking new mom nursery. This is actually gonna be the diaper changer table. And so I'm just going to jump in here, start putting me in some stripes. I've got my, my stripes where I think I want them. Just remember it's paint. If you find out that you don't think the stripes are exactly where you wanted them or whatever, you can always just go right back over it and do it again. No big deal. It's just a coat of paint. <clears throat> so I'm finally out here. I've worked all day in my house. Literally, I mean, I know it is not spring, but I have been spring cleaning. I am D on the declutter mode. Christmas is past, got everything cleaned up, and now I am taking stuff out, <laughs> getting rid of stuff. Like, if I haven't used this and whatever, I'm done with it. It is gone. Making some donations. So just coming in here, I've got the oval medium. It is a little wide, but I can make it work. And bringing these sweet little stripes in on this piece. So I'm gonna do that to the front of that dresser as well. Um, like you see, I know you guys have seen this sitting back here thinking, when was she ever gonna get started on that piece again? Well, now that I have my transfer here, I could have gone ahead, but I just waited because I wanted to make sure that the color I chose was going to be the color that would work um, for my transfer. So I was just waiting to make sure the colors matched up, which I kind of thought they did. But anyway, it never hurts to be safe. right on top of the heater here so this is exactly how I add my stripes and don't worry if you get some on over the top I mean most of the time I do pretty good with getting it along the edge but you can just come in with a painter's brush and touch up any of your little gray areas if you felt like you needed to so I'm going to let that sit and while this is sitting, I'm going to roll back to the front where we have already striped. So I'm going to go back over there now. Um, maybe I'm going to push this back around. Ugh, maybe. So once this is in place, it's in place. And I'm going to put you guys back over here so you can see where we have already put our stripes on. I hear my crew coming back, so I'm going to unlock the door so they can come in. So we're back over here on this side. Now, I painted it one coat already on these stripes. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to come in. Let me put you up here so you guys can see, maybe. Set this brush down. i got to be careful. My phone tries to jump off this tripod. So let's put you up here so I can see you. Um, I got the first coat on. I've let it dry while we were putting this on. Now I'm going to put another coat on. Probably you don't need it, but I'm going to do it anyway. 
And then I'm gonna pull this tape off because I don't want to leave my tape sit overnight. I want to pull my tape off. Um, and the same here. I'll put another coat there. Actually, it looks pretty good. You can't even really see um, that you would need a second coat, but anyway, for all intents and purposes, while we're here, I'm just gonna go right on in here. Now, I did dampen my brush before I started. So I'm gonna come in here and put a second light coat. Now, you could miss this with water put a thin coat but I'm not going to mist it with water because it hasn't really sat overnight so if I miss my pink with water now um, I could probably pull some of that paint some of my pink back off easier than I am actually going to blend it if I use my water on a uh, second coat process I normally make sure that the coat has been cured overnight not um, necessarily just a few minutes like you guys saw I just did this so I'm gonna put this on here get another thin coat on because I'm gonna pull this tape tonight because it is cold I don't want it adhering to my gray and staying there forever and sometimes that can happen so once I cut the heater off and go inside and this piece is sitting outside it's going to be at the temperature of this garage so I'll leave my heater run for a little while after I go in hey Angela hey Jane how are y'all so I'm adding my stripes thank you for joining us thank you for viewing those of you who haven't been on with us lately Welcome back. So um, this is my second coat on my tea rose. I'm using tea rose by Dixie Bell. The gray color on this piece is uh, manatee gray. And this um, Prima Design transfer that just came in for you guys that are just joining us, I am using is called Oh Baby Transfer. And look how sweet those little critters are. So I'm gonna take the little critters and um, overlap them, probably one here, one here, or vice versa, or maybe even in the center once um, my paint is cure. So probably Thursday that transfer um, idea will be coming into play on my piece. So I'm gonna pull my tape because it's best to pull your tape while your paint is damp and it'll leave a little cleaner line if you will so um, just kind of bear that in mind if you are um, if this is the first time you're I have no fingernails y'all so I got to kind of get up here to where I can get my tape off so on the sides I use this thin tape I'm just gonna pull these off now bear in mind if you feel like you um, would rather not have as many stripes or whatever the case may be, you can always come back in here, tape it off, and paint more gray in, if that's your preference. It really, um, it really just depends on the look you're going for. So the reason I'm pulling this off tonight is I want nice, clean lines. And I don't want my tape to stick to my piece um, overnight because I'm afraid if it did that it would um, pull my paint off. Not my pink paint, my gray paint underneath. So I don't particularly want to pull my gray off. And like I say, if you feel like that there's an area, any areas that you need to just gonna add so it's just that simple so there are your stripes on your sides if you're going to do stripes um, like I say if you think that you don't want as many stripes after you come back tomorrow and you decide oh you want to change it up it's just paint it's not a problem just put you some to paint on here over top of your stripes and do over again 
or just eliminate a couple of your stripes. Say if you only wanted two on one side or say you only wanted these here in the center and you wanted this gray again, it's only paint, just put it back on. So there's no, um, won't have any issues with that. It's just a coat of paint. So again, um, you just saw me take that off. I'm gonna pull this back around possibly. See if I can get it. It's heavy and push it back over so I can paint the front again so you guys can see. So I'm going to do a second coat on this bottom. Let me bring you over here. Hopefully my phone won't jump off. I'm surprised we're able to keep you guys and um, not have internet issues for whatever reason. I was having issues with that. So there's my tape. I'm going to come in here and do a second coat on this. We'll make sure it's relatively dry so it doesn't take very long for it to dry I'm gonna put my heater on it um, and then you can come in and put a second coat <clears throat> if you don't let it dry enough that it's tacky and you can't it's not gonna come off on your finger to touch you can pull it back off so you just be kind of cautious with that so I'm just going along and putting on a uh, second coat you guys see me put the stripes on I'm gonna come in and um, let this dry a little bit while um, <coughs> while I am waiting I'm just gonna go ahead and let you guys go for the evening I just wanted to jump on and show you guys as we got started back on this I uh, put the stripes here um, wouldn't put it past me to do something somewhere else I'm gonna just kind of go slow with it I don't want to overpower it since I do have the um, beautiful transfer that I am going to be putting on here. I want to just kind of work my um, color in subtly and slowly to make sure that um, they blend nicely. So this is the redesign by Prima Transfer. It's called Hello Baby. Um, do look for new transfers in our booths at our locations at Cooper's Vintage Village. We um, have a space at the Nook and Cranny as well. Habitat for Humanity Restore. You guys, we do have the workshop for Bring Your Own Peace at Habitat for Humanity the third Saturday of this month. So we will be getting close to that soon. Um, if you want to sign up for that, you can go to Habitat for Humanity Restore here in Kernersville. Tell them you want to sign up for the workshop. They will sign you up or you can give them a holler. Um, call them on the phone. However you want to work that, that's fine. Um, we do um, have limited seating, obviously, because we had limited space. I do know we have several people signed up for that. If you're interested, um, just give them a call. Make sure that um, we have space for you. And um, we're going to let you go tonight. I'm going to continue working on this. And um, you, we will come back on Thursday um, evening, 8 o'clock, Tuesday, Thursdays, evenings at 8 o'clock. We will be um, applying some of this transfer. I may get some on before then because I can't wait. I'm excited. <laughs> I couldn't wait to get this in and um, I can't wait to see this nursery put together. And so, um, but I will save some so I can show you guys how we apply this transfer to get the um, cute look that we're going for here. So thank you for joining us tonight. Hope you all have a blessed evening. We will see you again on Thursday. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.